today we're going to talk about how to test your glucose. So let's just go through all the steps. I don't want to assume that everyone knows how to do it. And if you are making some errors along the way, this is the time to learn before you waste all your glucose strips, right? So it's always about saving money where we can. Uh, let's see here. So you're going to have a lancet. This one today I chose to use is the Delica by One Touch. We're going to use the One Touch glucometer. Make sure you have alcohol swabs, right? These are cheap. You can get them at Walmart. I think they're a buck a box. So uh, keep these handy. They're great when you're not at home and you have to test. I'm using the Delica One Touch needles for the lancet. And we have our glucose strips, and in this case, again, by uh, one touch. So whatever brand you're using is fine. The basics are going to be all the same. Every Lancet is going to have similar pieces and parts to it. So you're going to have the little, usually it's a little button of some sort that actually will push the needle into your finger. Uh, in the center here on this one, I don't know if you can see it. There's a lever. Can you see that there's this lever that slides down? Uh, that is to prime, right? To get that needle in place before you push the blue button, right? To, to go into your finger. And then there's another tiny little lever, but it moves in the opposite direction. And that's gonna be to eject the needle when you wanna change and replace your needle. Your glucose strips always check, I don't know if you can see here, always check uh, the expiration date on your glucose strips because they they could wear out heat extreme heat could possibly uh, Have some effect on them. So be careful about leaving them in a car, especially if you live in a hot area um, Extreme cold we don't know what that can do to it either So again be careful when you're leaving any of these supplies in your car for a long period of time We don't want to have uh, all of this wasted and not working appropriately Okay, so uh, let's start from the beginning. So let's actually change out the needle. You're gonna twist off the top. Most all of these lancets will work in a similar fashion. And never, never, never have this near your face. Uh, keep it away from anyone else. Do this in a private area if you can. And then make sure when you eject, you're gonna eject downward so it's away from you. And so we're gonna do that now. And you can see how the needle just popped right out. Now, most of the replacement needles look fairly similar to each other. There's a little round section, and this is where you can actually grab and hold on. You're just going to, there's a little uh, place where you can pop the needle in, so you're just gonna push that in, right? Don't need too much of a push. Twist the top until it loosens, and then just pull, and now you will have the needle, um, I don't know if you can see it, it's a tiny needle, exposed. So be very careful, take the top and you're going to want to just put it on and twist and place it, put it back into place. Now, so the needle's all set. Let's go ahead and we're going to grab a glucose strip. You're going to pop that in. Now, it's very hard to not over touch these. I mean, you really want to try. Just push it in uh, gently till it stops. And then, now this is an old one, but um, since I've been doing demonstrations with it, um, it looks like it's ready. So you'll see something that either shows a drop of blood pictured on it. You'll see something that's an indicator. Just check your instructions with the manufacturer uh, for the one that you have. So now we're ready, right? So we're going to, when you get the drop of blood, do not put it right in the center of the pad of your fingers because we use that all the time. So don't hurt yourself, but slightly off to the center is where you're going to want to put, uh, get your drop of blood. Now before that, in this case, uh, one touch has a little lever and it's one through six. And so it's right here on the bottom, there's a little lever and that will indicate the depth that the needle will be coming out to prick your finger. So they're all different on, on different lancets. Uh, for me, ladies, I got to tell you, three seems to work for myself and for my female clients. Uh, male clients, your skin is a little thicker. You may have more calloused hands, so you may want to go up to a four or possibly a five. But you should never get great pain when you're doing this. And if you are, just check the length of that needle that's going to be poking you, okay? 
All right, so uh, before we do anything, you always wash your hands. Now, especially if you've been working with foods that are sweeter, fruits, for example, you can get residue uh, on your hands. So always wash your hands with warm soap and water. And then I always like to use an alcohol pad. If I'm traveling and I have these with me, I always have alcohol pads with me. So I, about a buck at Walmart, they're cheap. Uh, so always uh, use that. And then you're going to find the spot on your finger, right? And you're gonna pull the mechanism and then you're gonna poke. You're gonna use the, the little button to poke and draw some blood. Now, trust me, I've done this millions of times myself. I don't really want to do it today. Um, and alternate your hands because you don't want to keep poking the same five, four fingers all the time. So alternate, give your hands a break. Uh, hopefully we've got you going in the right place. Please be careful. And when you dispose of your needles, dispose of them very carefully so no one else happens to grab garbage inappropriately and pokes themselves. If you're out and about in public places, many, many places now do offer uh, containers for needles. So it's a great place to dispose of them in a safe, safe spot. All right. I think you're ready to go. You've got all your supplies. If you need them, go to my resources link at my reversemydiabetes.net. And you'll be able to get a great discount on uh, all of the supplies that you're going to need. All right. Take care.